Here at home, uh, current and former students at St. Augustine University are making plans to have their school save their school. The Save SAU Coalition rallying for change as they raise awareness about what they're trying to do to keep the university open. In December, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools voted to remove St. Augustine from its membership and revoke its accreditation. That decision was upheld in February and university leaders filed for arbitration in March. Earlier this month, St. Augustine switched to all virtual classes for the rest of the school year. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live for us tonight, has been following this story for months, and she's breaking down some of the efforts to save the school. Haley. Well, the coalition says there won't be any change until the board of trustees step down. They say they believe they are the root of all the problems. And as the coalition works to remove them, they say there's a lot of work still to be done. A group marching around St. Augustine's University showing their support for the struggling school. Save our school. In the crowds, some faculty members, ones who have not been paid for months. But it's been a while. Uh, you know, they come in electronically. It's been a while. It's, it's been a few missed. People coming from near and far. I actually drove from outside of D.C. this morning. We owe a lot to the school. Uh, if not for St. Aug, I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I've been able to accomplish in life. All working together to figure out how things can turn around for the troubled 157-year-old university. St. Aug's currently is in significant debt, including a $7.8 million lien from the IRS. They're now on remote learning for the rest of the year, unable to fund students staying on campus. This comes as the university fights to regain their accreditation after a failed appeal process. The first thing I would do is get rid of the, uh, the Board of Trustees. I would start there. They have a responsibility to ensure that this institution doesn't end up where it is. It's a sentiment echoed by Save as SAU Coalition, a group of alumni organizations who have been calling for the Board of Trustees to step down for months now. They tell us the board is not cooperating with them. The only response that we've ever received was when the actual resolution was public, made public was that we're not stepping down. In the meantime, coalition members are focusing their efforts on students and faculty. They know fundraising is a major component of the future of the university, but there's a problem. They won't donate it unless the board's gone. Because we've got to show that we're making, making amends and making progress. And we're told the coalition is trying to work with attorneys to remove the board. Now, because people say that they want to make sure their donations end up in the right hands, the coalition has set up a specific link. They say money to that link will go directly to staff, students, and the university. We've included that link in this story on our website, CBS17.com. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS17 News. All right, Haley, thank you.